Hello children, welcome back on our next class. Now today we will discuss about electric motor and the part of the magnetic effect of current. Before starting electric motor, let's recall what the things we have done in our previous class. In our previous class, we have discussed about magnetic effect of current and there we have concluded that a current current conductor when placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. And that force, magnitude, direction and the resultant is given by playing sir left hand rule. According to that, if we stretch the fingers of left hand mutually perpendicular to each other in such a way that the first finger will show the magnetic field, the center finger will show the current, then the resultant force will be shown by the thumb. So this law is used to design a device known as electric motor. What is the function of electric motor? Electric motor converts, it converts electrical energy, energy to mechanical energy. Its principle is force is experienced, force is experienced by a current carrying conductor, current carrying conductor when it is placed at any magnetic field. Now what are the uses of motor? Motor are used in any type of rotation process, just like fan. The blades are attached to the motor, so it work like a fan. On washing machine, the nozzle works due to the motion of motor. Mixer grinder, there also the nozzle works due to the supply of motor on heat. So electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. The principle of heat is force is experienced by a current carrying conductor when it is placed at any magnetic field. Uses of motor, uses of motor, it is used in electrical fan, washing machine, mixer, grinder and water pump, water pump. Please pause the video and write down the things or you take a screenshot. Okay, I hope you have taken the things. Now come to the electric motor. First of all, we will move to the construction of this electric motor. Please focus here. Here, two strong magnets that are permanent magnet, north and south, are placed just in opposite direction of each other and they are placed in a horizontal direction. North pole, south pole. Now between there, we are keeping an armature. This armature is A, B, C, D and it's a pure copper coil. Here we have shown just one wire, but in actual motor, there are so many rounds of these coils because more the round will be, more will be magnetic field. So armature A, B, C, D. Now this wire A is connected with the S1 that is split ring. Through that, it is attached with carbon brass. Carbon brass. Same thing, the wire D is connected with the split ring S2 and which one is connected with the carbon brass B2. Here, B1 and B2 are fixed. They will not change. That means they will not rotate. But S1 and S2 will rotate so that they will maintain the direction of current and that will change in every half cycle. S1, S2 are slip ring, they turn and they change the direction of current 
so that the continuity of current is possible on that circuit. Now soft is attached in this and here whatever the device is called fan other things you can connect it. Let's come to the part. Now this is connected with the battery that is the source and battery is connected with the cell. This is the construction. Two magnets one armature, the armature will be connected with the battery through split rings and split rings are attached with the fixed carbon brass V1 and V2. V1 and V2 will not move but S1 and S2 used to move and they are used to change the direction of current. Now let's see the working. Working of motor. When the switch will be on, then the current will start to move from point 2 terminal. As it is moving towards this, the current is entering this area. Now as the current is entering this area, that means the current is coming in contact with the magnetic field. Current is coming in contact with the magnetic field. So according to Fleming sir, this conductor will experience a force due to the magnet. And what will be the direction of that? Please move it. These are the things. This is the direct current, this is the direct field, so its direction is like this one. This one field, there the current is there. So when we are attaching it, then this thumb will point down in downward direction. So this area will move in inward direction. It will go inward direction, so this will come upward direction. As it will come to the middle of part, middle of the part, the polarity of this will change due to the changes of the position of S1 and S2. But as the polarity change, the momentum does not disappear because there is a motion. So momentum is, is not getting disappeared. So this will continue to move like this one. So finally CD will come to AB. Let's please see I am showing you. Suppose this rectangular is the slab. Here we are putting the slab. So when the force is explained by this one, it is going in downward direction. At this position, the current is getting disappeared due to change of the polarity but momentum does not change so the body start to move like this one so the these phases are exchanged when these phases are exchanged this S1 and S2 also get exchanges because they want to continue the direction of the current so for next half cycle next half cycle what will be there this <coughs> C will come to here will reach to there this B will come here and A will be here. The spark will change. Similarly, here it will be S2 and there it will be S1. But again, the direction of current is continuing. So, this rotation will also rotation will also continue. So, finally, the body will start to move due to the dual combination of electricity as well as magnet and the motor, the spark. The spark will continue in motion and that is actually the working of the electric motor. So here, here what has happened? The electric energy of this source battery is converted into rotation due to the dual combination of magnetism as well as current. This is the function of the electric motor. So what is the force experienced by this conductor? That will be force on the conductor, force on the conductor will be the product of B, I and L. B, I and L. B is the magnetic field, I is the amount of current supply and L is the length of this armature. Here it is a rectangular slab. So what is the total length? The total length is 2 into L plus B. So this much amount of force will be experienced by this current time converter due to the magnet by applying current on it. So how we can increase the rotation or what are the factor by which we can increase the rotation? So the factor affecting rotation, factors affecting rotation will be the amount of magnetic field, magnetic field, because more stronger magnet will be more will apply the force. Second is the amount of current flowing, amount of current 
flowing. If the quantity of this battery will increase, then more amount of current will flow. If more amount of current will flow, then this product will also become more. So the factors affecting rotation will be directly proportional by the amount of current supply. Now, third is the number of rotation. Because if more number of rotation will give, more will be the magnetic field, more current outside can induce. So, number of number of turns of the armature number of terms of the armature and fourth is the thickness the thickness because the more the wide it will be less it has the resistance less it has less it has the resistance more amount it can flow so third is area of cross section area of cross section of the wire so these are the factors which is affecting the nature of rotation of the armature of a electric motor please write it down you pause the video write it down or take a screenshot of this things are well arranged here we are discussing about the factor before that we have discussed about the construction here we are what is the amount of force on that conductor <coughs> conductor and last the factors affecting the nature of rotation how much fast or how much slower it will rotate that will be governed by these four factors here we have discussed about dc motor it is dc motor okay now go to the next part that is electromagnetic induction I hope all of you have written the things. Fleming's left hand is focused on the conversion of electrical energy into mechanical energy. But Fleming sir has also given the concept of electromagnetic induction. There we are producing electricity by changing the magnetic field around a conducting material. So our next topic will be electromagnetic induction and the outcome of electromagnetic induction is based on claiming the right hand rule. So at the next topic, electromagnetic induction. <coughs> electromagnetic induction or we can write it EMI. What we can conclude about this? When the amount of magnetic field, amount of magnetic field around a conductor is change and induced EMF and induced EMF is produced changing magnetic field around a conductor produce electric current when we are changing the magnetic field around a conductor there will be the production of electric current on it suppose this is a current carrying conductor and here we are bringing a magnet if we will move this magnet around it that means we are changing the magnetic field around it it is a conductor it's a magnet. We are moving it. So, magnetic field is getting changed. Magnetic field is getting changed. So, on that time, a current will be induced in this. And that is the concept is known as electromagnetic induction. So, for that, Fleming has given another rule. And this one is the Fleming right hand rule. Here again, these two fingers are same. Whatever Fleming has given on his left hand rule. That means the first finger, first finger will show the direction of magnetic field. The center finger will show, center finger will show the amount of current, but here the resultant motion will be shown by the thumb. There the resultant, resultant force is shown, but here resultant motion will be shown. So these two fingers are same. There the resultant force was shown, but here the resultant motion will be shown. 
So how you can prove play wins are right hand thumb rule? So play wins, play wins, right hand rule, right hand rule. If we, if we stretch, stretch the fingers of fingers of right hand mutually perpendicular to each other in such a way that the index finger will show the magnetic field central finger I would say or this this finger central finger central finger will show direction of current current field is then the resultant motion which is responsible for the production of current which is responsible for for induced current will be shown by thumb this is plain sir right hand rule here this one is the field this one is the motion then resultant current will be shown by the central finger first finger for field thumb for motion and the resultant current whatever will produce on that given system will be shown by this central finger so please revise the electric motor then after electrode induction and planning the right hand rule in our next class we will discuss about electric generator till then thank you